A Song of Liberty. The eternal female groaned, and it was heard over all the earth. Albion's coast is slick silent, the American meadows faint. Shadows of prophecy shiver along by the lakes and the rivers and mutter across the ocean. France, rend down thy dungeon. Golden Spain bursts the barriers of old Rome. Cast thy keys, O Rome, into the deep down falling, even to eternity down falling, and weep. In her trembling hand she took the newborn terror howling. On those infinite mountains of light now barred out by the Atlantic Sea, the newborn fire stood before the starry king. Flagged with gray-browed snows and thunderous visages, the jealous wings waved over the deep. The speary hand burned aloft. Unbuckled was the shield. Forth went the hand of jealousy among the flaming hair, and hurled the newborn wonder through the starry night. The fire! The fire is falling! Look up, O citizens of London, enlarge thy countenance. O Jew, leave counting gold, return to thy oil and wine. O African, black African, go winged thought, widen his forehead. The fiery limbs, the flaming hair, shot like the sinking sun into the western sea. Waked from his eternal sleep, the hoary element roaring fled away. Down rushed, beating his wings in vain, the jealous king. His gray-browed counselors, thunderous warriors, curled veterans among helms and shields and chariots, horses, elephants, banners, castles, slings, and rocks. Falling, rushing, ruining, buried in the ruins, under Thorna's dens. All night beneath the ruins, then their sullen flames faded emerge round the gloomy king. With thunder and fire, Leading his starry host through the waste wilderness, he promulgates his ten commands, glancing his beamy eyelids over the deep in dark dismay, where the sun of fire in his eastern cloud, while the morning plumes her golden breast, spurning the clouds ridden with curses, stamps the stony law to dust, loosing the eternal horses from the dens of night, crying, Empire is no more. And now the lion and wolf shall cease. Chorus. Let the priests of the raven of dawn no longer in deadly black with hoarse note curse the sons of joy, nor his accepted brethren whom tyrant he calls free lay the bound or build the roof, nor pale religious lechery call that virginity that wishes but acts not. For every thing that lives is holy.